Okay, so I wanted to start off today with talking about, um, okay, I'll start with this. Being a vlogger is not as easy as it seems. And, you know, I started making a vlog yesterday, and, uh, and, uh, didn't finish it. It's not as easy as it seems, but today, oh my god. I am so pissed at Expedia. You've reached Jesse Maitland's new cell phone. Okay, so basically, I was trying to book a flight for Hannah to go see her brother at the end of this month. And I've never used Expedia before, and so I decided I'll try. Um, supposedly, you know, it, you can find great deals, all that stuff. So, I went on there, found a flight, great deal, went to book it, put in all the information, put our card number in, all this stuff. And go to click book, I book it, it comes back with a notification that says, you know, unfortunately, this, this booking has gone up $100. And I was like, that's stupid, like, you go from 380 to 4 yeah, 380 to 480, 490 actually. Like as soon as I click book, so I went back to the main page to book a different flight. Found the same flight, same 380 low price. I'm like okay, I'll just book it again. So I went to book it again, and it said there's a problem with your card. And I was like, I bet you they freaking charged my card for the other flight. Went on, they had charged my card already for the previous flight. You go under my account, nothing is booked. It's all unbooked flights. So they charge my card for a flight that's not booked. And not only that, when I call them, the first person can't understand at all. She didn't really understand me. I asked to speak to a manager, couldn't understand her either, and they couldn't do anything. They, don't, they said, oh, it's probably a pre-authorization charge and you'll get it returned to you in 48 hours but we can't do anything. What is that? They can't do anything? Like, that to me is just stupid. Like, why would you charge my card for a flight that isn't booked? Like, how in the world does that make any sense? So now, I can't do anything. Well, I mean, basically, she had that X amount of money that she was going to use on the flight to there, and that money is gone to use for a flight to there, and hopefully, it'll come back in 48 hours. And then, you know, ticket prices will change and everything. And the only thing that they could do was offer me a $200 off coupon to some hotel um, chain. And I'm like, I really don't care about a discount to a hotel. Give me a discount to a freaking flight. Since you screwed up my flight already. Like, basically, I tweeted too, and they tweeted me back faster than the person even answered the phone. So I thought that was funny, but the person on Twitter couldn't do anything. So basically, I'm like boycotting Expedia. And. I actually, I fly United because United is the only plane, the airline that leaves out of Reading, because um, we're in a tiny town. Um, that's the only reason why I fly United. 
And so far, I like United better than I like Expedia. Which is funny, because I know there's been lots of stuff wrong with United lately. Um, but United would never leave me hanging like that, so... Expedia, you got problems. Jesse's here, guys. It's hot. Who am I talking to? Oh, there you are. Um, Athens? You know, the San Francisco deli? John's there right now. Plans just to grab a sandwich and hit the road. So, did you want to drive all the way down there again? This is a slowdown, eight minute delay. Everyone's turning around though. Look at that. Well, if we went to Ponderosa, we could just go up here uh -huh. and then it backed up. Continue on State Highway 20 East for two miles. I think there's a bunch of people still staying here. I wonder if it's worth staying here, or... That's what probably everyone's doing, is going back to Ponderosa. And going around. You know? Yeah, it could be. I get in the left lane, though. I'm trying to. Okay, a little update. We took a little pit stop. Because we both had to pee, and we both wanted snacks. So... I can't get mine open. <laughs> <laughs> oh, there we go. So we took a pit stop, got some snacks, went and got the gas, hit the, the line for the road construction on par, like, nailed it. Um, went right through. I think yeah, we didn't have to wait at all. We didn't have great. to wait. There might be another one up here, though. This line is going really slow. So the last time I was in Tahoe was when I was 13, so about nine years ago, nine and a half years ago. And there's about eight feet of snow piled up along the sides of the roads. Because the snow plows kept going through and it would just pile up. It was like people's cars were buried. And it was it was crazy. So that was my last experience in Tahoe. The experience before that, I was 12 I think. And it was summertime. And there was absolutely no snow. <laughs> and I was wearing shorts. They went on a tiny cruise out on Tahoe Lake. And the boat had a little glass floor you could look down inside the lake. Ooh, that's, that's kind of cool. Um, did you ever come up here for like a family vacation? Um, when I was 13, I came here for my birthday with my dad. 
Yeah, and I know your mom was trying to make another trip for you guys. Did you guys ever go on the trip? Uh, we never did. I was, when I was with, my dad took me and my brother here for our 13th birthday. That's right. And I went snowmobiling, and Andrew went snowboarding. Oh, cool. Um, so they both did some sort of snow yeah, sport. I've never been snowmobiling, or snowboarding or skiing, ever. But snowmobiling was fun. I'd love to do it again now that I'm a little bit older. <laughs> It'd be fun to, to do it again. You get to romp around on yeah. machines in the snow. I really, I actually really want to do that. It's a lot of fun. Holy Toledo. This is freaking gorgeous. We just like peaked on top of this mountain and now all the views are coming up. It is. Continue on I-80 East for 25 miles. Beautiful up here. seems to look a whole lot better now, doesn't it? <laughs> Hi, Jesse. What's up? Okay, we so we made it. We're checking into our fancy hotel. Here it is. We're hoping it has a view because we're next to the water in Tahoe. But we'll see if it actually has a good view. Sixth floor, so it's kind of promising. It just depends on what side of the building we're on. <laughs> yeah, there's a good chance. But there's a good chance that we have a decent View. Look at that sunset over there. So pretty. <sighs> Feels good to be here. Super pretty. Super nice. It's very lodgy in here. Um, super nice. So hopefully the room's nice. What are we? Six what? Oh, I wonder if these ones are the ones you can add your cell phone. Like, as your room key? Okay, here's, what's the view, what's the view, what's the view? Oh well, well, it's a decent view. You got the pool and the mountain right there. Guest tour. So the lovely Jesse is gonna give us a little oh. rundown. Hello there. Welcome to my establishment. <laughs> so here we are at the Hyatt and pretty good room. Definitely the modern cabin look. So, we've got our beautiful uh, bathroom with modern fixtures, nice soft lighting, stone countertop, and uh, a nice wood. Yeah, a nice wood vanity. A decent uh, shower and tub. And this really awesome flooring. Kind of into that modern look. And as we come over here, we have this massive bureau, right? Dresser, whatever with leather straps, which I think is pretty cool. That's pretty cool. So leather straps. Oh, look at that. Fancy bottles. They gave us uh, bottles to fill water with water to reuse. How very uh, appropriate for the area. Very economical. And here we are, two beautiful queens. 
And uh, a decent view? A decent view, actually. With a beautiful couch, I might add. So we have this like, oh, yeah. little loungy area, so... It's kind of weird that it's kind of cramped by the desk. It's totally crammed in the corner. But the desk can scoot over this way a little but bit. But it's really nice. Yeah. It's really nice. And then I like the history. It's totally got some history. Black and white photos, real classy. Mm -hmm. And then my favorite feature are these things. Oh, but the man, wood. outlets next to your bed. Uh huh. Outlets in the freaking wall, and these cool standalone wood things of wood. It's just it's pretty. I love it. It's a really nice setup. When the heck got a fan? Not all rooms have fans. It's not your dirty cabin feel. That's what I like about it. Feels clean. Yeah. So the actual event that we're doing is downstairs in this hotel. So that's actually really nice because we don't have to leave the hotel to go to work. Oh look, the alarm clock has wireless charging if your phone supports it. Oh, and I, I, do not. I think these rooms support the your phone. You can add the key card to your phone if you download the Hyatt app. That's Hilton does that, and I think the Hyatt does it now too. So you, we also got the nice view with the. The mountains in the pool, hot tub. So we're going downstairs to meet up with some others. That just arrived and possibly had some champagne. I don't know. I guess they offered us some champagne. So.